Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to cover off a really simple technique for painting paint chips. Um, now following on from the last video in which I finished off all the non-metallic gold, I want to add some scratches and chips to the blue paintwork before I finish the model off with some weathering powders in an upcoming video. Now the first thing we want to try and achieve is the primer that will be on display uh, if a vehicle's paintwork is scratched. Um, so for that I'm going to use Dawnstone um, but any grey will do, uh, it will do the same thing in the end. So I'm just going to make my brush wet here and grab a little bit of this grey. Now for this we want to think about areas of the tank that's likely to have been scratched if it's driven past rubble or you know, driven over someone. Um, for that I'm going to pick on sort of corners, um, the underside of the vehicle, anything you think is likely. And I'm going to use the side of the brush rather than the point to just run along the edges. Um, once I've got a line here I just want to push elements of it out like so and then potentially run a line down the front as well. So I want to do a few of these. Um, I think you could probably do too much, obviously it depends on, on what you're trying to achieve. But uh, definitely the underside of a vehicle, so I'm just gonna run this over. And occasionally push the, the grey up like so. Um, I'm also going to pick on the side of this exhaust vent as well. Grab a little bit more paint. So I'm just going to run it along like so. So once that's done, the next stage is trying to replicate the metal that's been on display or exposed to the elements for quite a while and, and most of that will turn a very very dark shade. So just for simplicity's sake I'm going to use black. Um, so much, much like we've just done, I'm going to use the side of the brush and then edge along where I've just painted. Now if you're doing this you might want to wait for the, the grey to definitely dry before this but I'm, I'm painting under a quite a bright light bulb here so it dries fairly quickly. And once we've got the, the middle of it painted then we can push out into the, the thicker grey areas we've left previously. Just do that for the same same for the underside so we're just going to run the brush along we want to leave a little bit of the grey on display and then in cases where we've pushed the grey out upwards I want to just try and follow like so So once that's done, the next stage is thinking about which of these chips has occurred recently. So uh, the older ones, the metal would have tarnished and gone a very dark shade, in this case black. But the ones that have only just happened are still going to be fairly uh, silver or metallic. So for this I'm going to use Rune Fang Steel. But it doesn't really matter what silver you use, any bright silver will work. So we're going to pick on a couple of them here and just think what's what's more likely to have been a fresh scratch. Uh, so let's pick on the, the exhaust one here. So we're going to put a bit of silver in the middle of this black we've already done. Um, and I'll also pick on... This one here. So 
So I said you don't want to do do all of them fresh because presumably the vehicle's been on deployment for a while. It's it might have got um, scratches in previous campaigns, uh, and they've not had the chance of repainting it before. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is paint a few of them, a few of these scratches. So they've been on the vehicle a long time, and perhaps they've gone gone a little bit rusty underneath some of the paint. So I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade. If you wanted to, you could use an orange wash, but I tend to find that's a little bit too harsh. Most um, rust will will um, turn a sort of brown colour on top of paintwork. Unfortunately, owning a few old cars, I know that from experience. So I'm going to pick on one of these, uh, this one here, to be a um, scratch that's been on the tank for a while. So we're just going to heap on the wash, trying to follow the pattern that we've already put in place. So once that wash has dried, we can get a better idea of what that particular scratch is going to look like. Um, and as we can see here, it looks a little bit older than the rest of them. So as I said, it's a very, very simple technique. It should take no time at all. Uh, hopefully it gives your vehicles that little bit extra character. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and until next time, take it easy.